Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is uh, Star Wars Net 77. I've had a number of requests of people who've been wanting to see my Darth Vader collection. Um, I've got a lot of figures. It's really hard to go over all of them in, in 11 minutes here on YouTube. So uh, I, this is what I decided to do. I just decided to eliminate the vintage figures because we've seen those already. Uh, I've decided to eliminate the 12 inch figures. I'll show those in another video. And there's just some other packs that Darth Vader are in that I have that are just quite honestly too hard to get to right now. Um, but I, this is the majority of them. And I'm going to talk briefly about each one of them. And uh, okay, so it started. This is part of the Force ones. Came out in 1995. It's the uh, red card, orange card, um, and uh, that's uh, this is Darth Vader. He's uh, he's got a really extra long lightsaber, uh, enormously long. In fact, they ended up uh, shortening it quite a bit. But um, this one did come with a shorter saber, lightsaber as well. But this is the very first um, edition. So we saw the red card, or otherwise known as the orange card. This is this is the green card. This is Darth Vader. Same kind of figure as you can see. His lightsaber is much shorter. Let me bring back the orange card one, and um, you can see the the lightsabers are, are different lengths. But other other than that, these are the exact same figures. This is got, here's another Darth Vader that came out in 1997. This is part of the four still. This is where they have the freeze frame action slide, uh, which is cool. It's hard to see, but you can see a, a scene from the movie. Um, and there were binoculars that you could actually. Uh, Send in for, and uh, you can view these, which is cool. I thought this was a really good look. The likeness of this, you can see the scarring on this in this head. Um, really did a good job with this uh, figure. Um, you know, when you when you have it put on, when you put the helmet on, you can't even tell it's removable. Here is another power of the force. This is the Comtech. This is about 1989, and he came with an inter interrogation droid. Uh, and uh, that's a cool looking Darth Vader. And his, uh, it's hard to tell, but his. Uh, Cape is actually kind of a cloth-like, so first one to have that. This, okay, this series is actually Power of the Jedi series. This was, uh, let's see, this came out in 2000, so uh, a year later. And um, this is actually, if you open this up, the face comes off and it's a Dago boss. so it shows a loose face, which is really cool. I thought it was really creative of them to have that, so. Um, and they came with these, these cards, which is cool. Okay. Here's the second figure of the Power of the Jedi figure. This is actually really cool. This is uh, in Emperor's Wrath, and you look at the helmet, you can kind of see it looks like he's got a really good job with detail. It looks like he's got electricity coming through his helmet. Um, awesome. It's almost like somewhat see-through, uh, transparent. Um, great job with this figure. Again, it comes an information card and shows the other figures. Awesome line of figures. Uh, this is this Hasbro took over at this point. This is from 2001. Uh, this is kind of during the time of Episode 2 when it came out. Um, this is a Darth Vader and he's got the um, it's a pressure ice back and he's got the pole in the back that Luke cut and it's cool because it's magnetic so it puts together and falls apart so really cool looking figure and he's doing the Luke I am your father kind of pose so that's cool we're gonna jump ahead uh, these are other figures uh, that came out this is during the time of um, episode 2 uh, we got your basic Darth Vader here nothing really too special about him um, you know, he's got the silver panels, so he's probably from uh, Return of Jedi. Um, and uh, really good job, attention to detail on that one. Uh, here's another uh, second version of um, a removable helmet. This guy's different than the other one. Um, a lot more detail. It actually improved this guy quite a bit from the other one. And uh, talks a little about it. So, excellent job. And he actually, he swings. He has a swinging action. If you push a back, uh, button in the back of him, he actually swings. Which is cool. We're also going to talk, uh, we can't forget about the original Trilogy Collection series. These came out also in 2004. There's three of them. Uh, they're all Darth Vader's, um, and they all came out um, with different backings. Now, um, this Darth Vader is a silver uh, plates, as if you can tell um, that this one only has two, whereas uh, this this has none, uh, and the backing's different, so um, that's very interesting. That the, Essentially, the backs are. Uh, Essentially, essentially same, different pictures, but uh, three different Darth Vader's, which is kind of interesting that they would do that in, uh, in one year. So, okay, in 2005, they came out for episode three, uh, another Darth Vader, um, and he's got uh, it's you know it's a great little di different detail than the other figures, and this is from um, he's got the cloth cape as well. It's really hard to see with the glare, but he's got a cloth cape. So, this is the episode uh, three Darth Vader. 2006, um, they had the Saga Collection series, which is very similar to the original Trilogy Collection, but uh, back is a little bit different. Um, there's three uh, more Darth Vader's that they had. Um, they had uh, one from uh, 
Well, I don't know, to be quite honest with you. I think these are all from Return of the Jedi. This one's from Empire Strikes Back. These two are from Return of the Jedi. Um, this came out with uh, like things that, you know, in Empire Strikes Back, actually, this is it from as well, because now you, I remember, because these had the um, cargo stuff that they would have, and that's cool. And these would each come with mini figurines here. This is from Empire Strikes Back as well. This is when he's in Hoth. Another figurine. The blue and then there's red ones. And then this is from Return of the Jedi. Oh, and if you can pay attention, it's very really hard to see, but he's got the electric uh, stuff currents going over his head. And that's cool. And uh, here later in 2007, they had three more Darth Vader's come out. They really liked Darth Vader. He's a very popular figure. Um, this is really cool. This is um, kind of a signature series. This is the Macquarie series. So this is a prototype kind of um, what Darth Vader would look like. It's concept Darth Vader, which is really cool. He had two helmets. Uh, it's one of my favorite Darth Vader's. Also, uh, you got him from uh, the Legends series and came with a coin. Yeah, another one came with a coin as well. And uh, just different backing, as you can see, the backing's different on these, and it's a, a different Darth Vader. And, and again, the vest is a little different. So Now, in 2006, when they were doing these coined things, they had an album, and Darth Vader was one of the first uh, figures to be packed with this album. So this is uh, Darth Vader with the album, came with a coin. And uh, it's a cool looking album. So the whole point is you can collect all the coins and, and use the album. This is a Walmart exclusive. This is for Father's Day. I picked this up and uh, this is a two pack. And uh, it comes um, with a, a kind of Father's Day card and, and it comes with both Darth Vader and uh, Luke. Real quick, here's a couple of deluxe figures. This is uh, Darth Vader, Power of the Force with Gunner Station. And then this is uh, Power from the Power of the Jedi figures line. This is Darth Vader and Darth Maul. Um, which is a really cool set. You get a couple of packs. This is a factory droid, droid factory. It came at Walmart a couple years back, and this is a Darth Vader that came with it. it came with another droid. Um, uh, K3PX is what he's known for. That's cool. And, and it would come with a, a, a limb so you can build a um, another figure. You can build a figure. So that's cool. So you collect all all, uh, all six of them and you build a figure. It's very cool looking. And then this is um, the 20th anniversary. Um, 25th anniversary figure, uh, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now these comic packs are really cool. I really like these comic packs. They come with a comic. Um, you got this Darth Vader, which is one of the first comic packs, and he's got like, the blue tint almost. I think they tried to, too much to try to make it comically. I don't know if they did a necessarily good job with them, but interesting Darth Vader. Um, you got one that comes with a, a Leia pack. These are all um, expanded universe figures. And then this is really cool. This is the, a white Darth Vader, which is supposed to be good. So it's basically um, what would have happened if Darth Vader would have lived and, uh, you know, after Return of Jedi and he would have become good. So they would have made him turn white, which is interesting. But very cool looking figure. Now in 2005, Hasbro released his 500th figure, which is uh, um, Darth Vader in chamber here. And it has there's a lever in the back. Really cool uh, looking figure. And um, actually open, it pops up. It's hard to see, but also comes back down. So really cool. Going to recreate the scene from the movie. So that's it. Now on to the exclusive Darth Vader's I have. And um, let me try to see if we can do this as quick as I can uh, without running out of time. Um, you got Darth Vader. This is a, uh, I think I got this as Toys R Us exclusive, uh, silver. And it kind of talks about, um, you know, Darth Vader himself. So that's cool. Um, I'm going to skip, I'm going to talk about this one in a minute because that's the most valuable I want to have. This is a holiday version, a holiday 2005 edition. He's in red. It's a really cool looking figure actually. Holiday Darth Vader. And there's a whole funny dialogue and story behind it. And it comes with like a Christmas card in it as well, which is really cool. Um, this I got at Target. This is the limited uh, 1 in 50,000. Uh, this is the Revenge, Revenge of the Sith. Darth Vader is a lava, so he's got some red reflection on it. Really cool looking, uh, looking Darth Vader. And again, uh, really cool pose in the back. Darth, uh, Target exclusive. This is a Celebration uh, 3 um, Darth Vader. And uh, I'm going to play for you in a minute. Um, really cool. You push this button here and. Prepare to experience the revenge of the Sith. It is your destiny. The dark side of the Force is strong with you. Star 
very cool looking cool figure in there. She had James Earl Jones do the voiceovers, if you can tell, uh, for that. So my last Darth Vader I want to show you is um, this is a Toy Fair Darth Vader, New York Toy Fair 2002. Really, really rare, hard to find. You can only get it in New York at the Toy Fair. Uh, a couple years ago, this was valued at over $200, and I'm not even sure what it's worth today, to be quite honest with you, maybe possibly more than that. So um, the lightsaber comes out of the package, which is really cool. Uh, it's got these silver, almost metallic look. Um, and then it talks a little about um, 25 years ago, this is the 25th anniversary. Uh, it's created especially for the 2002 New York Toy, Toy Fair um, and uh, episode two release. So very cool. Uh, I'm really happy to have this uh, addition. This is one of our more viable figures I have uh, as far as um, you know modern day figures. So thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you. Take care.